Hello everyone, this is Amplice on Antenna 4. I'm going to be reading for uh, Second Kings 1 from the New Master version, and also as NIV version. If you guys want to go to Vlog, you guys can go to, go to BabaGateTwee.com, or you guys can go to go get your Baba, I mean classic BabaGateTwee.com, or you guys can go to go get your Baba. I don't really care how you guys can do, but let's get started. Second Kings 1, New Master version, NIV. The Lord's Judgment on ah Ahaz Ahaziah. After Ahab's death, Moab rebelled against Israel. Now Ahaz Ahaziah had fallen through the... Latus of his upper room in Samaria and in injured himself. So he sent messengers saying to them, Go and consult Baal Zebub, the god of Ekron, to see if I'll recover from this in injury. But the angel of the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Go up and meet the messengers of the king of Samaria and ask them, Is it because there is no god in Israel that you are going out to consult Baal Zebub, the god of Ekron? Therefore, this is what the Lord says, You will not leave the bed you are lying on, you will certainly die. So Elijah went. And the messengers returned to the king. He asked him, why have you come back? A man came to meet us, they replied. And he said to us, go back to the king who sent you and tell him. So the Lord says, "It is. is it because there is no God in Israel that you are sending messengers to consult Baal Zebub, the God of Ekron? Therefore you will not leave the bed you are dying on. You will certainly die. The king asked him, what kind of man was it who came to meet you and told you this? They replied, he had a garment of hair and had a leather belt around his waist. The king said, that was Elijah the Tishbite. Then he sent to Elijah, a captain of his company, company of 50 men. The captain went up to Elijah, who was sitting on the top of a hill, and said to him, Man of God, the king says, come down. Elijah answered the captain, If I am a man of God, may fire come down from heaven and consume you and your 50 men. Then fire fell from heaven and consumed the captain and his men. At this, the king sent to Elijah another captain of his 50 men. The captain said to him, Man of God, this is what the king says, come down at once. If I am a man of God, Elijah replied, and may fire come down from heaven and consume you and your fifty men, then the fire of God fell from heaven and consumed him and his fifty men. So the king sent a third captain of his fifty men. This third captain went up and fell on his knees before Elijah. Man of God, he begged, please have respect for my life and the lives of these fifty men, your servants. See, fire has fallen from heaven and consumed the first two captains and all their men, but now, sorry guys, but now have respect for my life. The angel of the Lord said to Elijah, go down with him. Do not be afraid of him. So Elijah got up and went down with him to the king. He told the king, This is what the Lord says. Is it because there is no God in Israel for you to consult that you have sent messengers to consult Baal Zebub, the god of Ekron? Because you have done this, you will never leave the bed you are lying on. You will certainly die. So he died according to the word of the Lord that Elijah had spoken. Because Ahaziah had no son, Joram succeeded him as king in the second year of Jehoram, son of Je Jehoshaphat, king of Judah. As for all the other events of uh, Ahaziah's reign, and what he did, are they not written in the book? And 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 are they not written in the book of the annals of the kings of Israel? Okay, guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to click that like button. Make sure to click the bell so you know for my posts. That actually be really appreciated. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye.